Welcome to Valcor. We're in the Canadian province of Quebec, north of Montreal. I'm Farron Meeks in the ISOC Racing Broadcast booth, joined by our expert and former racer, Paul Mack. Mac man, it's race day amid the history of Canadian snowmobiling. We've got a great slate of races and racers. Valcor is the birthplace of Joseph Bombardier, one of the pioneers of the sport and the creator of the Ski-Doo. Anytime you race in Canada, it's a reminder of the great tradition of our sport. The atmosphere is international, there's a lot of energy and it's simply special to be here today. Special is also the word used to describe our trackside reporter Natalie Kane. She's standing by with the racers who today will make headlines. And how about the track here in Valcor? Uh, Valcor track is a uh, pretty big technical, a lot of tight corners and stuff, so it uh, makes for really good racing up here. Uh, it's really fast. Uh, Valcor's usually pretty icy and fast, but the uh, sled's been working good. Uh, ran really good in the, in the heat race, so. Uh, should be should be good for the final. It's amazing how much the track changed from the start of the day today till now for the final. This morning it was really really cold and powdery and really sugary. Didn't really take a whole lot of energy to race. And then towards now this afternoon with this kind of wet balmy conditions, the snow is really sticky. So you're getting a lot of feedback and you're getting a lot of extra feel on the snowmobile that you might not normally get. So how do you adapt to this track then and how do you train for, I guess, a wetter track? Is that what you yeah. would say? I mean, that's that's more, you know, you're going to use a lot more arms riding on a wetter track and uh, you got to get better at, you know, finding creative lines because, you know, even if they groom in between every race, huge holes form and there's really nothing you can do to get away from it. So you got to get better at being creative. Yeah, it's nice. It's getting tacky. It's fast. It's something different than what we've had last couple weeks. So it's good. I'm excited to be here. Do you prefer it when it's a little bit warmer like this? Uh, yeah. And I'm from Canada, so just being in Canada is kind of nice, so. Do you speak French then? Uh, very rarely, okay. and it's not the best. But you do know some? Maybe, just a little bit. Like, comment ça va? Uh, sometimes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. The course here in Canada is long, fast, and challenging, and it's time for the pros to test it. Up first, the Pro Super Stock Heats. And as always, it's all about the start, Mac Man. Your heart is a jumping and the corpuscles are a thumping. All your eyes are on the green flag. We're under starter's orders here in Canada, and the race is underway. And it's number 44, TJ Gula, who makes his move early and often. TJ rides red and pushes his players to the front of the pack. In high speed pursuit is number 48, Gart Kaufman on an Arctic Cat. But it looks like the battle to watch is back in the pack for third and fourth place. Canada's own Robbie Malinowski is all business on his skidoo, and DJ Ekstrom of Duluth is riding his Polaris and putting on a snowy seminar to follow the leader. And this game is pass or be passed. I can recall a time when I was racing many moons ago when I was starting in the back row and I didn't have that kind of pressure until I passed a few people. It's one thing to pass, another thing to be passed. The key is to always be up front quick. But in the end, it was TJ Gula whose fast start set the pace. TJ takes the checkered flag and a spot in the final. TJ, you came out on top of your pro stock heat. How do you feel right now? I feel great. You know, I'm just uh, two and a half hours from my house in Vermont. So got to uh, sleep in my own bed this week for, for a couple of days before I came <laughs> nice. up. So so that was good. You know, I, I'm, I'm feeling good. Uh, what are we going to see from you tonight? Oh, man, I'd like to say a win because uh, Last weekend felt pretty good after yeah, that I bet one. It so did. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to uh, I'd like to continue on that and hopefully just run a good solid race. You know, I, I've won here before a couple of times in stock class, so uh, hopefully I can continue on that. Now it's time for heat three, and in snowcross today, you make it happen at the start. And the pro super stocks are off again, led by a Canadian. It's Ryan Simons from Alberta, Canada, who jumps out in front on his Arctic hat. Nipping on his heels is X Games star Levi Labali. It seems like at any moment, Launch and Levi will make a move to pass. Oh, it's so close, but Levi may not be able to make the move. Levi has become one of the names in this sport. You know, perhaps he feels a little pressure. He was the first one to attempt a double backflip, almost stuck it. Those things are in your mind. And at the checkered flag, Ryan Simons is your winner. He and the top three will head to the finals. Ryan, you won your pro stock heat. How do you feel right now? That was really good. It was fun. Um, we just, uh, sleds are ripping. They got everything tuned up super good. So got the whole shot and just drove through it. 
kind of running off of some momentum from New York. You had a podium finish there with your Open. Are you kind of feeling some good vibes on this race as well? Yeah, I mean, we uh, all year we've been running good speeds. Just uh, got to keep it all together and finish a race, and uh, we know we can finish up top. So had a had a podium, second place podium in New York there. So hopefully we can carry on this weekend and it goes well. If you were a pro snowcross racer, which oil would you trust to get you on the podium? AMS oil. Ask DJ Ekstrom. He's used it his entire racing career. And whether you're racing your friends on the trail or foes on the track, use Amsoil Synthetic two-stroke oils to maximize the power and performance of your sled. Interceptor gets it done on the trails, and Dominator gets it done on the racetrack. Amsoil, the first in synthetics.